Hello everybody, today we're going to look at the three electronic book readers that recently came out. Uh, it is Nook Simple Touch, it is Cabo Touch, and it is iRiver Story HD. All of them are capable of going online to their respective bookstores and uh, buying and downloading book for you. Also, all of them are capable of going online, though with a different amount of success. Now, uh, what we're going to do first, we're going to open a very simple page uh, just to demonstrate the quality of the screens of each of them. And it would be that page here. that the page here but it's not touch screen so we'll have to do it this way and here it would be that one when you look at them they're all pretty much the same uh, the quality of uh, the blacks and whites are very good and it's very contrasting for comparison I'll put in a Kindle third version you can see there's no difference so as Kindle is their main competitor we can at least say that as far as the quality of the picture they'll compare favor uh, well they all compare in the sense that they all have same screen so their quality is the same as far as the picture goes all of them are devices that have not been modified at all I just uh, went and registered myself for each of them and uh, you can see their home page looks uh, different of course What's nice about iRiver and uh, Nook, they both have um, file br browsers so that it is possible, for example, to load their own, your own books um, in the um, library that is separated by different folders and you would be able to browse it and find files in it um, pretty nicely. All three of them are capable of reading Unicode books and as far as handling the books with footnotes and going back and forth between them they have different approaches there uh, let me go to the book that I know have lots of footnotes which is War and Peace by Tolstoy and we'll see if we would be able to you know follow its footnotes. Now with Kobo and Nook it is easy because they're touch screen and all you need to do is click on one of the footnotes, read what it says and then just click another one to return back. See? And uh, here is with iRiver. Unfortunately, though, I can see footnotes. I have not found a combination of button yet to be able to go in the footnote and read what it says. So no for the iRiver. With Koba, it's the same thing. You can just click on the uh, footnote and I guess wait a bit while it loads. It's slightly slower than Nook and how it works. I've been pressing the footnotes and occasionally it comes up like that and then I have to come back and it'll go back but it takes longer so sometimes I get impatient and press a couple times which it isn't really ready to deal with. Uh, what's interesting to note that uh, though they're um, all capable of going online. Their ability to deal with internet is different uh, as far as dealing with the 
settings for the book itself. Here, Nook and Kobo have very similar uh, features as far as dealing with the text. And uh, iRiver can, uh, you can change the size of it. You can also use uh, this button to change the orientation. And if you click Options, you see all you can do with the book when it's open. With Internet, uh, Koba has a built-in web browser, which is accessible if you go to the wireless connection and go to Launch Browser. Nook Touch uh, has, let's say, an advertised web browser, which means you'll have to go to search and type the web page there. And uh, iRiver, you can also go to web on it, which is kind of non-advertised feature. Uh, to go on the web on the UI River, you, what you end up doing, you have to go to your bookstore. And in there, you would need to um, go to um, help or the terms of service and click on first thing that has um, HTTP in it, which gets you on the web page. And from there, you'll have to go and click on the um, Google. So in uh, Koba, what is also interesting is that if you go and type uh, the page, it will go there. But you, it also have, gives you ability to have favorites. And what I've done, I saved a little page here that I made that has examples of books that you might need to download sometimes. And uh, Copa is actually capable of not only going there, but it's also capable of downloading one for you. And if you go back to the home screen, which it's doing right now, you this is the one I downloaded several times as I was testing. This is the book I was just downloading, and it would be able to open it for you. Uh, with Nook, it is actually capable of downloading stuff. What it's not capable of is actually finding it or opening it f uh, for you from the download page of the web browser. So to go to the Internet from your iRiver, uh, you have to scroll all the way uh, down and the best way to do is go to terms of service right there and um, if you scroll down the very first link here you can click enter and you this time you need to go all the way up to the link on the top where it says Google if you click on it it will bring you to your Google page right there and you actually would be able to go to that box and type something in there and find it. and it would actually find it for you. Though it does not have an address bar or anything, so you would be, wouldn't be able to say favorites, but in case of emergency, you should be able to use it for browsing. I hope um, that short review helped you uh, understand which of them you would prefer for yourself and which features is more uh, are more important for you
Um, and I hope you enjoy the short review. Thank you very much and have a nice day.